Hello, and thank you for investing some of your time in learning a little more about the medical device regulatory process in the United States. Over the next few videos in this series, we'll take a look at some of the key aspects involved in bringing your medical device to market in the U.S. This course is broken up into seven sections or modules. First, we'll take a brief look at an overview of the United States market and regulatory framework. Next, we'll examine the steps involved in classifying your medical device. Then we'll cover U.S. quality management system requirements, followed by an overview of product testing and clinical data requirements. We'll also discuss dossier preparation before moving on to how in-country representation works. And finally, we'll end with a section about device listing and maintenance. This video is part of a series, so you can use the thumbnails to skip around between topics if desired, or just let them run in sequence. Ready? Let's get started with our first module then, an overview of the U.S. market and regulatory framework. With a population of over 316 million and a gross domestic product of over 15 and a half trillion, the United States is the largest medical device market in the world by far. More than 40% of all global healthcare spending occurs in the U.S. That makes it the most lucrative market and, of course, a fiercely competitive one. Here are some key statistics about the U.S. compared to other major markets. As you can see, the government plays a smaller role in U.S. healthcare spending than any other countries. Yet healthcare spending per capita is much higher. The U.S. population continues to grow consistently year over year, spurring steady growth in the medical device market. The amount of money spent on healthcare in the U.S. is staggering. The U.S. spends more on healthcare per capita than any other country. Medical devices are regulated by the U.S.'s central authority, the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. The FDA must clear your medical device before it can be sold in the U.S., and every medical device must have a quality management system. Devices which carry higher risk may have additional requirements, which we'll cover in later modules. The FDA, in addition to medical devices, is responsible for the regulation of food, pharmaceuticals, and cosmetics. With over 80,000 devices and 20,000 companies in their purview, the FDA is a vast organization with locations around the globe. The branch of the FDA responsible for overseeing medical devices is the Center for Devices and Radiological Health, or CDRH. The entire process of bringing your medical device to market in the U.S. can be summed up in six steps, all of which are covered in later modules within this course. Step one is device classification. The way the FDA classifies your product lays the groundwork and determines the number and complexity of the requirements for the rest of the process. The second step is the implementation of a quality management system. This is a common step in many markets across the globe. Most of the time, the FDA requires a QMS prior to selling your product in the U.S., so strict protocols must be followed regarding documentation, among other key aspects of the product lifecycle. Higher risk devices require clinical studies to be performed. Class II devices require the submission of a 510K pre-market notification application. Class III devices must submit a pre-market approval application, or PMA. If your organization is located outside the United States, you're required to appoint a U.S. agent as your liaison to the FDA. The final step is listing your device and registering your company on FDA's website. We'll cover all of these steps in more detail in subsequent videos. In this introductory module, we covered some of the U.S.'s market statistics, which demonstrate why you would want to sell your products there. We also touched on the governing regulatory body, the FDA, and finally gave you a glimpse at the six steps involved in bringing your device to market. The next section delves a little deeper into the device classification process.